So welcome back to another review. Uh, I'm Erwin with Building 8 Media, and today we're gonna be talking about the Wii Light Sprite 20. All right, so don't be surprised if you've never actually heard of these lights. I haven't either, um, but Wii Light actually reached out to me and asked them, or asked me to review this light for them. Super, super good light. Uh, again, just kind of wanted to put it out there, full disclosure, they did ask me to review it. Um, they didn't pay me for it. They didn't say it had to be positive or something like that. But again, just wanted to put it out there for you guys. With that said, let's get right on into it. The light itself comes with a nice uh, kind of kit. Um, the one they uh, sent out to me is a two light kit that comes with the two stands as well as a bag. This is all priced at under $200. So the bag itself is actually in really, really good like quality. Surprisingly so, again, for that price point, you really wouldn't expect to get a bag at all. Never mind something that's actually usable and really good. Um, side note, it came in the biggest box I've ever had delivered uh, from Amazon. The thing was gigantic. In the bag, you're gonna get both of the lights themselves. You're gonna get um, also some tripods, some tilt heads, uh, which the tilt heads are actually just a nice little touch. Um, it just makes it so like when it's standing upright, it just, you can curve it sideways so the way you need without trying to do some weird rig to, to get it there. Um, again, very, very cool. Nice that they added this in there. Uh, but yeah, the, the lights themselves are really good build quality. It's like a hard plastic. Um, it's not metal, but it does stand up pretty well. Um, it doesn't feel like cheap in the hands. It has a nice frosted front to it. Um, the back also has that spot for two batteries. If you try and put one in there, it won't turn on. You have to put two in there. Um, and don't be like me and try and fight the battery to come off. Um, there's a little release button. So just press the button and then it'll come right off. One thing, when I was testing these lights at home, I thought they were really cool. The only thing that I thought was missing was the app. Um, I felt like if there was an app that it would be a, like a million times better because having to adjust it on a dial or using the remote. Um, oh, and it does come with a nice remote, which is much better than using the back of the um, actual light. But yeah, so I was like, these are, it's not bad, but I wish I had a, uh, an app with it. And I knew in my head, I'm like, well, if you did an app, that means you have to add Bluetooth and then you have to like have app development and that's gonna put the price point, the price point way over, you know, 200 bucks. But then I read the actual description and I saw that I missed a spot about the app. So I downloaded the app and I'll show it to you guys right now. So the app is called the Wii Light app, super simple. And once you have it, the only thing you have to do, it's super easy. You just have to go, you have to make sure you're on the right channel and mine are on channel two and you have to put it in the right group. Once you put it in the right channel and group, it automatically connects to it and then you're basically done. It just starts working. So as you can see right in here, it is on blue. Let's change it to red and you can even put the power up and we'll put it on green. Like it, it's very, very simple. It comes with a couple of different scenes if you wanna, actually there's a lot of scenes in there. Um, if you wanna have it on, I don't know, fireworks, burst, whatever floats your boat. I guess I don't, I don't think I'm ever gonna use these, but it is nice to have that option. And I'm gonna stop giving myself a seizure now. Um, also CCT, which is just kind of like the straight white look um, and you can adjust the temperatures at the bottom but I would just keep it here. Also, one thing you can do is you can have it so like this is channel A, that's channel B, and then you can kind of, you can change it independently. So if you wanna have one that's blue, one that's red or something like that, and you can do that. For me, as far as use cases go, I would kind of do exactly what I'm doing now with them, using them more as accent lights. The only thing I wouldn't really use with them as key lights, but I think they're great for pretty much everything else. One thing actually I do look forward to doing is using them just for some portrait photography. Um, I remember I had this one picture that I did and I put like these two kind of chintzy lights next to uh, the subject and the picture came out cool, but I wished I had something stronger and brighter and these would have been perfect. Also one thing to note really quickly is that this light has a CRI rating of 95, which is super good. Again, especially for that price point. That just basically means that the quality output of the light is actually really good. Um, so the higher that rating goes, the better. And this being 95, can't get better than that. Again, for $200, you really can't get anything better as far as RGB lights go. Um, I'm gonna put the link to get these lights down in the description. Please feel free to check it out. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll be happy to go through and answer them as much as I can. So uh, thank you for checking out this video and I look forward to our next review or video or whatever it is we end up doing. Later.